29th time the Techno Classica took place in Essen. Around 1,200 exhibitors presented their jewels and everything about classic cars. However, the number of the vehicles exhibited has fallen significantly. This also resulted in some more space and in a greater share of the spare parts dealers. As at the previous vintage events in Europe, the proportion of sporty racing cars at the Techno Classica has increased visibly. Among these were also genuine rarities such as the René Bonnet Arrière Jet or the Deutsche Bonnet, both of which were on display at the same booth. Lovers of genuine rarities came at their expense at this year's Techno Classica. At the Rolls Royce booth, the silver rate with the freestone on web bodywork was to be seen. An absolute individual car is the Volkswagen Type 10 with the special body from Stoll. The Autostadt showed a variety of models from the development of design under the slogan Form Follows Function. Among others were the Bugatti Type 15 and the NSU prototype Porsche Type 32. The Volkswagen Group showed an impressive exhibition appearance. The complete Hall 7 of the Classic Trade Fair Techno Classica in Essen was exclusively reserved for the group's subsidiaries Audi Tradition, Porsche Classic, Skoda Classic, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Bentley, Seat, the Autostadt and of course Volkswagen Classic. The Volkswagen Classic appearance this year stood under the slogan WOW inside. Four models from the Volkswagen Classic collection represented this motto impressively. From the outside their sporting performance is hardly noticeable because they present themselves with an understatement as a wolf in the sheepskin. Electromobility in its original form and its research development formed the second part of the exhibition under the slogan Driven by Future. The first ever e-Golf, the Niels from 2011 and the City Stromer was a test project that proved itself in racing. On a turntable stood the fantastic Bugatti T57C with a Gangloff bodywork. Two Picasso were on the display of the show. On the GTU stand stood the Volkswagen Rommage Coupé Lawrence, a unique piece. A special jewel is the stylish Fiat Otto Vue presenting itself in a special body from Vignale. A real eye-catcher was the 1930 Hudson Grade 8, with which the former racing legend Heidi Hetzer rounded the world in almost three years. The small Gogomobile Roadster single-piece was a real highlight. Anyone who wanted to climb in the air in his living room could buy the cockpit of a former transport aircraft. In the middle of the fair was the special exhibition of racing cars, which had participated in the Monaco Grand Prix in the 50s. The classic departments of the automobile manufacturers also exhibited some special exhibitions. Audi Tradition dedicated a whole exhibition to the subject of NSU. Volvo celebrated the 90th anniversary of the brand and showed some milestones from the company's history. Citroën also celebrated 90 years. Therefore, the French manufacturer showed three automotive milestones of the brand at their booth. Opel was dominated by the big sedans, like Opel Diplomat, Admiral, Senator, or even the gilded Capitaine, which ran as the 2 millionth Opel from the assembly line. 
Of course, a corresponding special exhibition could not be missing to the 17th anniversary of Ferrari. Appropriate Ferrari legends could be seen on the booth of Ferrari Eberlein. Distributed over the fair, however, the Ferraris were also building the spearhead of the classic super sports cars at the Techno Classica. Mercedes-Benz Classic presented this year an exhibition under the motto Sport. Among the exhibits were the former Simplex 1903 racing car, the Mercedes-Benz SSK, the Mercedes-Benz Stromlinie and the 300 SLR Uhlenhaut Coupé.